gunshots to my dome Jack is in my home Nothing too fancy, just your average tombstone I'm sorry that I chose a life under the curse Alright guys, so today is December 26th And to be honest with you, I've been cheating all these past couple of days So, yeah, I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna even bullshit y'all Right now, as y'all see, I got that Whataburger on deck so yeah, it's about to go down. Um, today is also well last last December twenty sixth was the day that you know my dad had died or whatever and passed away, and which is one of the reasons why I started doing this YouTube shit, man. Not only that, but you know Dragon Ball Z was there during my time of grieving. I was watching a shit ton of Dragon Ball Z, um, so. Yeah, and it was at that point, man, I was just like, man, you know what? Everything's a fucking competition. Uh, I'm fixing to go all out on everything that I'm doing. And, and whether it be in the gym, whether it be, you know, college, whatever. Like, I'm really finna just start going all out, you know. Um, my foot to the pedal. So, that was one of the reasons why I started doing YouTube. And just shit, just started, you know, pushing in general. So, but, um... Like I said, about to uh, enjoy this Whataburger Cowboys playing right now. And my prediction is still on. I still got Dallas and New England in the Super Bowl. Does anybody else agree with me? Does anybody else agree with me when it comes to the Super Bowl? But uh, I'm about to leave it at that. Tonight, I'm, I'm about to, you know, just sit back, chill. Tomorrow, I'm about to really... I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, man. I don't know. Who knows? But tomorrow, I got to really kill it. So, uh, just stay tuned. All right, guys. So, this is what a week of pure bu eating pure bullshit will get you, man. I mean, like, this is just... The transformation is real, man. Like... So, yeah, I got to head to the gym ASAP. Pronto and fix this shit, man. I told y'all, man, it don't take long. It don't take long to get in shape, and it damn sure don't take long to get out of shape. So it's all about just being consistent. Uh, and I was consistently eating bullshit. I had damn near a whole pound cake, you know, within these past three days. Um, just eating pure bullshit. Wasn't really hitting, didn't hit the gym those three days, so. Oh yeah, so uh, apparently Master Roshi's on vacation, so you know he for damn sure wouldn't approve of this shit. But I don't approve of this shit, man. And uh, I don't. All right, so how many people you know can walk into the gym with a bonnet on their head and not give a fuck? All right. So I'm not gonna try to make this video too long, but I am gonna keep it raw and I'm gonna keep it live because I'm gonna show y'all how to whip yourself into shape, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you've gone like a couple of days eating bullshit. Really, this is just good for every day in general, but I'm really finna go back to kind of my high intense workouts when I keep my, when I'm only in the gym for like uh, real, when I, you know, I'm not in the gym that long. So it's gonna be about 15 minutes. And all I'm doing is, I told y'all, I'm trying to work on my upper chest, right? So all I'm doing is incline, and I'm going to do some bicep work. So I'm going to do the uh, probably some dumbbell curls. So that's the, uh, those are the only two workouts I'm going to do. Now, why those? Because, number one, incline is the most effective for my upper chest. So I'm not going to bother doing, uh, you know, a million different exercises to work the upper chest when there's only one that I really, you know, really like and one that I feel like gives me the most, you know, results. So... Do your fake do the exercises, stick to the exercises that you get the most bang for your buck on. You know, don't worry, don't try to do all these different, oh, I gotta do, you know, I gotta do this and that. No, just really focus on killing those exercises, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I'm doing too much fucking talking, man. I've been eating pound cake, all kind of bullshit. So, this, this, this is gonna be intense. It's gonna fuck around. If I throw up, guys, hey, man, bear with me, but. Whew, we, I gotta get my mind right and uh, I will see y'all as soon as I get to the fucking station. Alright, so remember, the purpose of this exercise 
is to whip me in shape. So I'm literally about to set my phone to 15 minutes and all I'm gonna be doing is incline and then I'm gonna go straight into bicep curls. So I got 15 minutes to do that. So my rest time is gonna be extra short. So a lot of y'all guys is playing football two days. You know how it is, that first day, whip you in the shape. There's no difference in here. So uh, it's all out or nothing. It's gonna kill me, maybe, but superior DNA, baby. Let's get it. All right, guys, so yeah, you really gotta get your mind right before you decide this is something you wanna do. And don't be ego lifting on this. You can't ego lift on this. Because if you do, you will not last the whole 15 minutes. You really got to choose a weight that's heavy enough for you to do at least 10 to 15 reps with. Because those reps are going to dwindle down as time goes on. So you can go ahead and try to throw some big weight on there if you want to. But uh, it, we'll see how long you last. We'll see how long you last. But just choose a weight accordingly on both the incline and the dumbbell. On the dumbbells, I believe those was 25s. So, uh, yeah, right now everything is real smooth. Everything is is all peaches and cream. But damn it, as these reps go on, man, it should start getting harder. But you know what? I like hard. I like it when it gets hard. Because damn it, that means that if it's hard, it's a challenge. And nine times out of ten, when it gets hard, people ain't going to want to do it. People going to give up. People going to quit. People going to say, fuck it. And then that's when I come through and kill it. You know? I told you, I can't be like everybody else, man. I cannot be like everybody else. Once you start blending in with everybody at the gym... That's when there's a problem. I feel that shit already. Fuck all that blending in with the next person on the next set. Fuck all that, man. I've got to be, you know, when when how they used to sense power power levels, energy on a Dragon Ball Z. That's how I gotta be when I come into the gym. And you know what? I think that's how it's starting to become. You know, when I come to the gym, it's a power level. Automatically, people can sense a, a spirit. They can sense a damn a, a power level. You know what I'm saying? They can, they can sense something. They may not know what they sensing, but they can sense something. And that's how it's got to be, man. Shoot. I come in there. Oh, what? All of a sudden, the workout start. Everybody workout just start getting cold. Yeah. Something real done came in. Something real has just entered the fucking building. And that's how y'all gotta be at y'all gym, man. Y'all local gym, man. Y'all gotta really just like kill y'all's exercise. Just kill everything. Kill it, kill it, kill it. You ain't gotta be trying to throw up the as much weight as the person next to you. Don't be worried. No, don't ego lift, but kill what you lift. Yeah. As y'all see, my rips on the incline started going down. Yeah, my hands start going numb in the motherfucker on this man. It's just uh but I somehow managed to push through it. I wonder how many of y'all gonna actually try this. Or how many of y'all actually do this. It's almost like a non-stop superset for 15 minutes. That's literally what it is, like a non-stop superset. But this is how I used to, this is how I learned how to train, is by training this way. I learned that you gotta, if your workouts ain't intense, then what are they, man? Like, when I start training intense, I start noticing crazy, crazy results in my body.
Now, if you ain't got no spotter, which most of the time you probably won't, that's why I say don't be ego lifting. You know, just understand what you can control and just, you know, do as much as you can do for that time being. Do as much as you can do for that time being. You better off trying to ego lift with the dumbbells than trying to ego lift with the damn bench. And it's important not to ego lift too Because I mean listen You want to try to keep as, your form as strict as possible Because you're still trying to develop that upper chest I don't think a lot of people realize that Yeah, buddy. It's starting to get real now. So I had to take me a nice little squig of water, man. I didn't even bring my BCAAs. So it was just straight water. Which is what I needed anyway here. Yeah. But like I said, you really want to keep that form because you're still trying to, you know, this is an intense workout, but we're still trying to develop some muscle here, you know. So that's why you got to keep your form on point too. Keep everything on point. Yeah, let me charge this laptop. Everything is live over here. Even this commentation is live. Laptop about to go dead. Ooh. Yeah, I saved it. Man, I would have lost. I, I would have had to redo this whole fucking video. Damn, well, not the whole video, but I would have to re-edit all this shit, man, if this laptop would have died on me. God damn it. See what we had on time. Eight more minutes. Now, see... I really shouldn't even been worried about the time, but damn it, man! Hey, <laughs> Ooh, hey, try to get back in shape is a motherfucker. But that's how it is when you be going, when you go like you man, these little stretches of holidays, and you just start eating bullshit. Especially whenever I go back home, man, I just be eating all kind of shit that's in the house, man. I'm talking about, I have pound cake, pecan pie. Goddamn cookies, eggnog. I Man, I damn near ate, drunk a whole carton of eggnog within like uh, a 30 minute time span. Like, I was just, man, I was acting the fool at the house. Didn't work out those two days. I worked out the day before, but, you know, I didn't. I was just, man, I was acting the fool. So I knew damn well I had to get back on it. And shout out to all my Texas homies, man. All my Texas people out there, man. It goes down in this Lone Star State, man. Texas. Let's get it. I really, I'm trying to figure out where a lot of y'all at. Where a lot of y'all from, man. Go ahead and rip y'all state in the comment section. I can fucking barely feel my hands. Hands and whatnot. We gotta keep going. Throw your hood up. Throw your hood up. Alright, so like I said, man, when your hands start getting numb and, 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 and it start getting real, that's when you really gotta focus and, and, and dial in. Cause you could drop that weight, man. I literally wouldn't even feel a grip. I would I didn't feel like I was gripping the weight. 
I feel like it was just my arms like was just like holding it there like I couldn't even squeeze my fingers to grip the barbell that's how numb my fingers was my hands was but I ain't no hoe I ain't gonna quit let's believe that that's the difference between people with superior DNA and people who just have average, you know, DNA. It's like the difference between people who could go Super Saiyan, people who can't. People whose power levels exceed abnormal power levels and, and et cetera, et cetera. So every time you in this gym man it's like a tr a true battle of, of strength and will like it is a battle it has to be a battle if you go into the gym and you feel a routine you really ain't getting nothing from you you really I mean it was a waste of I mean credit yeah you you active you being active so you know but in terms of building power levels up in terms of you know the takeover uh, you just pretty much blending in with everybody else if that's what you want to do then cool but me no I have to man I'm really trying to like man like I said I took a step back from the hot you know eating bullshit but once my transformation completes now this is not gonna be my I got more transformation to come but this is just my you know my first transformation my first second transformation Y'all know all them transformations Freezer had. Well, I got a couple. I got a couple of the motherfuckers up my sleeve too. So, this is this is just one. This is just you know one of Superior DNA's transformations. Yeah, that's, that's about to occur. So, y'all witnessing this shit right now. See, this is the point when you start thinking like, man, if everybody could do this shit, whipping you in the shape, man. This right here will do it. A lot of y'all who went through two days, y'all know what I'm talking about. So you said at this point, if everybody could do this shit, then everybody power levels would be jumping through the roof. Everybody would be out on the same mission. Everybody would would be fit in the motherfucker. When they walk into the grocery store, everybody's power levels be set. But that ain't the case. I'm trying to get to the point where I walk to the grocery store, cashiers automatically stop stop doing what the fuck they doing. The system start to shut down because my power levels too damn high. Uh, motherfuckers can't even make transactions because my power levels, the energy. The energy when I walk into the building is just overwhelming for motherfuckers. That's how we gotta try to get a pair of the goddamn superior DNA. And I'm trying to see who else got superior DNA. Who else trying to get their power levels up? That's what I need to say. Real talk though, man. Like, I'm trying to, man. Like, no matter what location I walk in, automatically people, whoa, it's like a chill come through. It's like. Y'all know how it was on Dragon Ball Z, especially on that first, the uh, Saiyan Saga when uh, Raditz first came to, I don't know how many of y'all know, I can't even get in detail, but uh, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Motherfuckers were sensing their power levels from miles away. It was crazy, that's how I'm trying to get, man. And I'm getting there, I, you know, I, I'm really getting there, because motherfuckers starting to really... They know not to get too close. This is when you gotta finish strong. Fourth quarter, this is when you got this when you can be at your best. So, uh, superior DNA. Like I said, I'm getting there, man. Power levels, this, one is, this is when you gotta activate the most. But motherfuckers starting out, you know, you can't get too close to me right now, man. My, cause you just go, it's too, gonna be too much energy. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, what the? Females ain't gonna know what, what's in their presence, man. They ain't, like, they ain't gonna know how to fucking act. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man. That's why I tell y'all, you gotta really just, I mean, hone in on these sets. 
it ain't about how much you doing. I know some of y'all be like, well, I can't throw up two plates, three plates, like y'all see some of these bodybuilders doing. Man, they didn't start off doing that shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, you don't have to throw up all that build muscle. You have to throw up. The key is throwing up what you can throw up. Now, here's the thing. If you can throw up a 45 on each side for about, you know, 10 to 15 reps, but yet you're doing a 35, well then, you know, you're not really maximizing what you can do. So just try to maximize what you do, what you can do. Once you play with the way, you'll know what, where you at, and then you'll start knowing, okay, now I need to grow and develop. Now I need to try to build upon this. So... Yeah, man. I don't be trying to be in the gym no damn hour, an hour and a half, man. Like, people really, and it's crazy because people will sit in the gym. People be in the out. People will time themselves. Okay, I got to hear it one. Now I'm leaving at three, so yeah, that was good. It ain't about how long you in there. It's about what you doing or why you in there. Because a lot of times I'm in the gym for no more than 30 minutes, 45 minutes. And I do more than motherfuckers that be in there all damn day, yeah. I think people think they're going to get power levels just by being in the gym. They're going to get bigger, stronger just by being in the gym. Now, I did some of y'all try this. The amount of volume I did in that 15 minute time span is probably more than or equal to the same amount people do when they spend about an hour in the gym. Very intense, but that's how you get yourself into shape, is by doing, breaking yourself in with those intense workouts. So, I'm not gonna even quit here. I still got some more left in me, but for the sake of this video time, I'm finna end it here. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all, The takeover is coming, baby. Y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all. So real quick before I go, man. The reason why eating good, eating right, eating a wholehearted, healthy diet is important because, damn it, when you eat bullshit, you feel the bullshit when you're working out. Like, when you eat clean, your workouts are much more smooth, man. Like, you really, you know, it really, you can really get through. So I noticed that every time... I go on a stretch of eating real clean, and then whenever I have like a cheat day, cheat days, cheat week, whatever you want to call it, I really notice and I can feel the difference in my workout. So that's why that's very important, man. But just wanted to throw that out there. Also, trying to think of a few comments. One of the comments I got uh, on the last video, or the one before that, was uh, somebody was like, "I'm I'm, uh, I'm coming up," or like like I got like like I got a little money now or something. Hey, man, I'm still broke as hell out here in these streets, man. I'm still broke than a motherfucker, man. But I will say this, man, just working these jobs, learning how to manage my money, uh, that's really helping me too, man. Uh, just, like I said, spending your money, and when you meal prepping, man, like buying your foods for the week, that will help you save a lot of money, man. Uh, before when I was in that hotel, I was spending money on bullshit because I didn't have no, I couldn't have no, I didn't have no stove to cook. You know, I didn't have no appliances to really just, you know, meal prep or anything. So when I was in that hotel, yeah, I was buying all kind of bullshit, man. Just trying to, you know, make, make due time until I could, you know, get settled. But now that I'm in my apartment and I can meal prep, that saved me a lot more money and a lot more time. So, uh, but yeah, man, just uh, stay tuned. And don't, hey, man, I'm trying to tell y'all, when I come up, we all coming up, man. Nike Under Armour. All these motherfuckers better watch out because Superior DNA is coming for the takeover. But uh, until then, I'm about to uh, go to the house. And uh, hey, man, just stay tuned, guys. Chose a life under the curse. I'll be dressed in the suit and finally going to church. Gunshots to my dome. Jackers in my home. Nothing.